Now, let me discuss the third type of angina that is variant angina or your Prince metal angina. What did we discuss the basic pathogenesis? We have discussed that this is basically caused by the coronary vasospasm. Right, this is caused by the coronary vasospasm. So, whenever there is coronary vasospasm, what is happening? That will acutely decrease the coronary blood flow and it will precipitate the angina. So, what is the treatment you have to give in these individuals? What you have to try to do basically, that coronary vasospasm, whatever is there, that spasm has to be relieved. So, remember the sublingual nitrate. Right, sublingual nitrate is the drug of choice for acute attack. Whereas, both dihydropyridines and as well as nitrates, they can be given for prophylaxis. Right, they can be given for prophylaxis. Sublingual nitrate is the drug of choice for acute attack. But whereas for the prophylaxis, we give dihydropyridines and as well as nitrates. Now, let me tell you one important point. You take your aspirin. Aspirin, it can worsen the variant angina by decreasing the prostaglandin synthesis. So that is the reason why aspirin is not given in patients with the variant angina. So, important point is that aspirin should not be given. Why? Why aspirin should not be given? It will worsen the variant angina. How? By decreasing the prostaglandin synthesis. Alright. Next. You take the beta blockers. Beta blockers also should not be given in these individuals with the variant angina. Beta blockers by inhibiting the beta 2 receptor mediated vasodilatation that will further cause vasospasm. So that is the reason why you take your beta blockers, they should not, they are not indicated. They are not indicated. So, remember sublingual nitrate is the drug of choice for acute attack. For prophylaxis, dihydropyridines and nitrates. And aspirin and beta blockers, they are not indicated in these patients with the variant angina or your Prince metal angina.